All right, welcome back, guys, to Armor Core Verde Day. My name is Love Ark, if you don't know so already. So I got another quick little video for you all. Um, this time, um, as you know, we have built several ACs. We built Nightfall Raven from Armor Core 6. We built uh, Ephemera from Armor Core 6 as well. And um, now I feel like I should give you some content about the UNAC aspect of this game. So if you're not familiar with this system, it was a little system that they put in this game that allowed you to basically make your own AC artificially, or put artificial intelligence into your robot. Um, this was introduced in Formula Front, and it has came back in this generation, well, this iteration, and they call it UNAX. So um, the UNAC that I decide to breathe some life into is Nightfall. So, um, and if you haven't seen Nightfall already, I'm gonna bring the data up. So yeah, this is Nightfall that we created in one of my episodes uh, that we gingerly produced. And um, don't worry about the red marks and the yellow marks um, currently it's being used by my UNAC so this is the AC that we're breathing life into and I'm going to show you how I programmed him or her uh, in this game so let's check out what I have done so far all right so this part can be confusing to a lot of people especially if you're new to this generation so this is kind of like a um, a template it's a tree in other words that each little branch of the tree controls a different category of the UNAC so when I go down this is the main tree trunk now you have two you have this side which is the starting off and then there's this side which is what we're gonna program um, in this video but this is what I have set up so far in this main trunk of this tree. So um, if you go down, you have several branches of the tree. So this is for uh, movement. This is for the right weaponry. This is for the left weaponry. This is for the shoulder units. And this is for the, really the scanning um, for detection, as you can see on the left-hand side, it says detection category contains chips related to the target acquisition. The chip under that category regulates how the enemies are targeted. So, I don't use, uh, what was it, the recon units. Um, so, I really don't need this, but I put it on there just in case. But, um, and then there's more categories here um, that... I didn't feel the need of uh, equipping so each action or chip that you put in as you can see it has the total cost on the bottom so 13,000 is the limit where I have it's pretty much built at 74 and I think that's pretty good for what we're setting up so far so this right here uh, oh I didn't explain this so this is for the evasion category. So when you get to a certain point, um, it actually doesn't dodge until it takes damage. So that's how this works. Um, this is a special movement category. So I have a set where if the enemy is at a certain position, it automatically uses its overboost to get closer to the enemy. Um, this is a special action category, as you can see. Um, this is for when the target is in a specific range. It does a boost charge action and scan mode when um, when prioritizing mobile, prioritizing mobility and energy consumption. So this can be very overwhelming, but. If you play with it and do a lot of testing, you can see how it makes sense. The only part that I want to highlight so far um, in this video is uh, this part, which is the legs. Now, 
legs is very important. This, this controls how close or far your AC will be, where your new neck will be to this target. So you need to think about what kind of weapons you are going to set for the build and then plan your actions around the weapon set that you have for your AC, if that makes sense. You don't want to come in here and you're not really sure if that weapon set is going to be a staple point, you know, if you're going to later on swap them out. So pick out the build that you like, then come up in here and start designing stuff. So um, right now you can switch the display toggle, right? And the first one is a, as you can see on the bottom, it says move in action, range close. Uh, close range combat chip, maintaining a specific distance from the target, right? The next one is moving forward, close to the right, right? And the last one is moving forward, close medium to the left. So I currently have it set where the AC will move forward directly at the target to a certain amount of distance and duration. Then it will move to the right for a certain duration and then kind of do a long sweeping arch back to the left away from the target and then it will repeat that process so I find that motion kind of good in terms of throwing off the enemy in terms of them when they're trying to lock on to the UNAC so um, another category that I want to talk about is this game really focus on swapping weaponry, right? You'll have two weapons for one side of your AC. You have a right hand weapon and a right shoulder bay, you know, side weapon that you can swap. Now, this can get really confusing really fast. So, you want to pick a chip that basically pairs up with the weapon that you have installed right so the um, I have a left arm unit general purpose for so this is optimal for battle rifles so as you can see battle rifles are close to medium range combat so and as you can see on the right hand side you can see the minimal attack range the maximum attack range so 50 if the unit that is targeting is 50 and above it's going to attack it. If the unit is 300 and below, it's going to attack it. Now, this is where I had to learn. The minimal install range is 60. So, when the target is 60 and above, it's going to swap to its battle rifle. If the target was also 300, and below is going to switch to the bottom rifle. So I had to learn that because in this build, it also has the power bunker. So when it has the power bunker, um, the minimal attack it is attacking is zero. So anything zero and above will attack it, and anything 10 and below will attack it with the power bunker. It will throw attack out. Now the install range is also 0 to 10 so um, that's why I have the battle rifle set at 60 so anything below 60 you know we're swapping into um, to the power bunker supposedly uh, um, and the shoulder missiles is pretty easy to understand attack range to shoot is 50, maximum attack range is 300, um, attack computation, so basically um, how many blocks do you want to capture before firing off. So the longer it computates, the more it's going to do hard lock on and then fire off more missiles if possible. Alright, so we're going to go to operation test. Activating combat mode. System right. scan 
Passive et plus etc. So it only dodges when it starts to get my back. And I'm gonna tell you something else after this battle that is really important to consider. Alright. System combat mode. AC damage severe. Take evasive action. Energy at AC damage critical. Alright, so the action. choice that I made for it to split into its uh all bunker uh, wasn't the best point choice. But I'm gonna tell you something right now. So let's quit this no, I don't have to quit it. Let me show you something real cool. Go right back into the battle, right? And then Main right in the middle of the battle. Activating you can combat customize mode. operation. So check this out. System Alright, so it basically pauses the, the game. I don't have to quit or anything. So the decision to make it switch to Pile Bunker um, when the target's in 50% range or 50 meters away wasn't a good one so let's go ahead and change that out so crap I have to redo this all over again <laughs> so i want to reduce the range attack range i want to reduce it down to 10 or maybe 15. okay let's just do 10. install range okay so let's put this down a little bit further like 20. okay and um we want the attack computation to be up, with higher precision, and horizontal attack angle. Um, let's make it a little bit wide. Maybe 100 would be good. And as I'm adjusting these little um, attributes, they obviously the chip itself costs more, so be aware of that. And the last category here where it's talking about the FC malfunction. This, um, if you have an FCS malfunction, do you want your AC to stop in cold turkey? Or do you want to still attack regardless if it has a lock on or not? So if you turn it on, it's going to cost, um, um, it's going to cost 200 easy. But um, this is where I want it to be at. Oh, this is what I want to talk about. So, for the evasion, going back over, let's see, here, okay. Wait, is this the evasion? No. Yeah, it is. All right, my bad. Uh, yeah, for the evasion category. So, I have my evasion category set pretty high. Um, and the interval of action is one. It's like one of the quickest intervals that you can set. So the uh, the problem I came to notice when I set it the actions at interval at one, you need to have adequate energy for your UNAC to manage. So what I noticed that I set my um, energy management to be a little bit too low for it to maintain. In other words, like I had a boost that required too much energy and it was constantly being in energy at 30%. And that's a problem because if it's at energy 30%, then it's going to focus on bringing its energy back up and it's going to stop attacking. And we don't want that because um, if it's constantly evading, then it's not gonna be attacking. So evasion and attacking, um, evasion has priority when the energy is low. So when the situations where it has low energy, it's gonna focus on bringing up its energy, then when the energy is back up, then it's going to attack. So I learned that, so I just wanna, I wanna make sure you guys, um, when you start programming your UNAC, that you understand that tier system. So, um, looks good. We can get back out of here and let's see what it does. And 
leads you next. They got crazy reaction time in terms of dodging. When it gets in a good rhythm, it's really hard to uh, hit this unit. Put him down. Mission objective complete. System so, returning to normal mode. And 17,000 out of uh, 29, I believe. So, fairly decent. Main system activating combat mode. System. So, Alright, so Nightfall so far is programmed pretty well on the first phase of him. But you know there is a second phase that I was thinking about programming. So we have some credits left over. And I'll hopefully we can put them in there. So this is the second phase. So the second phase, what I was thinking about this before I go into this, is to program the AC to go all out in terms of being close range combat using the power bunker, of course. And... Um, using its charge kicks because the power bunker it hits like 24,000 or something like that it's crazy so when it gets to a certain threshold in terms of AP it's just gonna go bananas the straight up ape shit so that's what I was thinking about setting for the second phase so let's get started sitting though so we have to put it some in the invasion but it did switch into that mode which is good just that it was very frankensteinage come on oh come on you could have hit him on that one yeah he definitely could have hit him on that all right, no good, no bueno on that. Oh, okay. We need to work on that, you know, unable to see your target. Real slow, real slow. But we need to adjust that immediately. Yeah, I believe I know this. Alright, so maybe we're going to put a ship on it, but then maintaining a higher position than the target. I think that would be a, a better setting for him. This is really hard to get him to use that pile bunker uh, effectively. I want to see. Here we go. System, return to normal mode. <laughs> it finally did it. That's exactly what I was looking for. I want to see this again. I want to see this again. Wow, I'm... This... Okay. Alright. Alright. Mission objective complete. 
Wow. System I'm, returning to normal mode. I'm actually mode. impressed. I'm <laughs> highly impressed that this thing is doing exactly what I'm telling it to do. Uh, there could be a uh, room for improvement. Um, especially for when it's in situations where it needs to be above its target. But right now I'm highly impressed. And I don't know what's going on with phase system. one. It seems like phase Activating one's getting better and better. Mode. I don't know if it's learning it or what. System. Haven't done any tweaks to phase one. Phase two is what's going on. We've been driving on. Right. We're going to phase two early now. Come on, a little bit more. Okay, phase two now. Yep, connected. Mission so it can aim downwards too, System so we definitely to need to um, adjust the angle for the vertical positioning as well. But I think it doesn't have an answer for uh, range combat. The missiles is what's going to kill this thing. I know that. You shouldn't have got that close. Definitely going to go in. System We're going to find to out the hard way. All right, so we completed all the training test modules. The last test is me. So let's see how well it fares against the player. Main system all activating right, combat go. mode. Two now. So we're gonna act totally different now. Energy at thirty percent. Mission objective yep. complete. <laughs> System returning to normal. Mode. I programmed you. I know what you're gonna do. <laughs> you can't beat the master. <laughs> but I definitely approve of this build. So I think we programmed this UNAC uh, pretty well. Um, this is just a sample of what it could do, or what it can be like. It's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. It's a very uh, responsive AC. It kind of mirrors somewhat how I would play. Um, so that's kind of what I had in the back of my mind when I designed the, um, the operations of this AC. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, did I do a good job programming? How would you go about, you know, developing its customization in terms of its programming? Let me know in the comments box below. Um, I'd love to hear from you all. Um, if you like today's video, consider subscribing for more content like this coming soon. 
consider subscribing so that way you don't miss out on anything that comes out and you know you don't have to but you know it will definitely help me out and yourself out and the channel grow other than that thank you guys for watching and being part of this build challenge um, i'll see you guys in the next one until then i want you guys to take care stay safe and stay fly ravens mission objective achieved system switch to normal mode